Hey guys, it's HJ again, um, and I'm here making another tutorial for Photoshop. This one is an extension to my last tutorial that was on how to make your own uh, Windows 7 background or wallpaper. If you haven't checked it out already, I suggest you do so. Um, I'll post a link in the description so you can uh, watch the video. It's a three-part video, so I suggest you watching all of them if you want to do this tutorial as well. Okay, so in this vid, I'm going to show you how to change the color of the background um, to any custom colors you would like. So not just having the the colors of the tutorial, but we'll show you how to uh, make your own one. So it's pretty easy. It only takes a couple of steps. And uh, yeah, so we'll get started with this. Okay, start off by opening up Photoshop. Uh, I'm using the CS4 Edition Extended of Photoshop. It does not matter what version you're using. If you've managed to already make this background already, um, that version of Photoshop will do fine. It does not need much tools. It's only changing the gradients of the color and some color overlays, so it's pretty simple. So right now, um, I've got my document um, open of the Windows 7 that we made in the last tutorial. Um, so I've, I've reorganized the, structure, the folder structure of it. So I've now created the 7 part, which has all the 7 shades and uh, like the outlines of it. And I've created lens flare, which is all the, the additions of lens flares that we put on for extra detail. And then I've got the background layer. So first off, we want to change the background layer color. So I'm going to uh, double click on the gradient overlay of it, so double click on that, the layer style, it'll bring open the layer style tablet, uh, and we want to change the uh, uh, the, the color overlay to a gradient overlay, so what, right now I've got stacks of gradients, and uh, I've, I'm just going to go through and uh, find one that's decent, uh, I've noticed that, the, that this one's pretty good, um, this is a three tone color gradient, it doesn't matter how, doesn't mean you have to use it, but I'll, I'm just going to use this one for uh, an example, so it has three colors, so I will list the colors in the description as well, but I'll also list them here. So the first color is ED90017. Um, second color is F8D04A. And third is F6E6B5. And again, I'll list them in the description. Um, plus, I'll add some other ones as well that also will work. Um, so this is an example. So I'll list some other ones that you might find that also work quite well with this, uh, this setup that I've done so far. Okay, so once we've, we've found a gradient we like, we can go apply it. As you can see, it looks good already, and it's pretty much nearly done. Besides the lens flows down below, so we're just going to go OK to this thing, this layer of the styles as well. So right now, we need to change the uh, the lens flows down here because they're green. Um, so we're going to go into the lens flare uh, group if you have, I've made one. So we're just going to go. You know, we're going to go find the lens flares. So I've I've located the lens flares, and I know which ones to get. Um, so we're going to double, double click on the layer styles again like we did with the background. So for the inner glow, double click on that. And it's going to bring up the layer styles again. So let's see if I can get the same shot. Um, so right now it's set to green. So right now we even want to change the uh, the color to a, a lighter version of the background so like, like we did last time with it. So click around the uh, rough about, the, sorry, around the rough about the where the, uh, the object is and then just boost the light up from it. So we'll probably get it a lot of versions of that. Okay, that looks good there. So as you can see, it, it's starting to shape out already. If you want, we can add some uh, inner glows, or sorry, so inner, so color overlay, sorry. Um, and we can just apply it rough about there for added detail. Um, not, not, not necessary, but I might do this for added detail. So this might, this might give it a bit of a more, more fuller body. So it's pretty much a lot of version of the back when we're after. Okay, so once we've done that, we want to copy and paste them onto the other objects, the other lens flares. So the easiest way to do this is to go right click the uh, layer you just edited, so right click and copy layer styles. Now go down to the other layers that you want to edit and right click them and paste the layer styles. And same for the other one as well. So you can muck around with the, the individual layer styles as well. So with this one, I might just um, bump down the opacity of that. I don't know, just muck around with some inner glow levels and stuff like that, just, get, just getting a bit different, uh, changing it up for out of detail. But besides that, we're pretty much done already. So, uh, again guys, I will uh, list a, a bunch of other colors you can use that look quite well with this. But that's pretty much it, it's very simple and very easy to change the color and have even more customizability to your your background. So, hope you guys like this tutorial, or extended tutorial, um, and comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks guys.